So last time we drew some one-point perspective squares. Let's draw some cubes. We'll give these uh, objects some a third dimension. Here's our diagram. Center vision, measuring point, measuring point, horizon line, measuring line, station point. Should be familiar, all this stuff really familiar by now. So let's draw, um, well first, let's draw a square again. So let's make it in a specific place. We'll make it one unit to the left of where the person is looking, the viewer is looking. And we will make it three units long, wide. And we're going to make it three units deep. Lines that go back in space go to the center vision. And this measuring point over here, it draws 45 degree angle lines in perspective. So if I do this, I have an isosceles triangle in perspective. That means if this is three, this is also three. And if I just draw a couple other lines, then I get a square on the ground. That's three by three, one unit to the left of where the person is looking, the viewer is looking. Now if I wanted to turn this into a cube, well, let's do this. Let's draw it here. So one unit to the left of where the viewer is looking. Here's one, two, three. This picture plane goes forever, so this line here is just a random spot. So here's, well, this is pretty large. So here is a three by three square. So this, this angle, this angle, they are parallel to the picture plane. This line that goes back in space is at a 90 degree angle to the picture plane. They go to the center of vision. Vertical lines just go straight up and down, right? So you can take this three inches and just turn it vertically. And then you have three or three units, and then you have three unit vertical, three units. This whole surface is parallel to the picture plane. That kind of defines what three point perspective is. Three point perspective, you have the horizontal surface, vertical surface, they are parallel to the picture plane and lines that go back in space, they are 90 degrees to the picture plane. So this is a one point perspective cube. So let's do that over here. And so this is, these were inches I used. So I have, um, I just count up one, two, three, just a little bit above the horizon line. And so, so these just go straight up and down Horizontal lines straight across and lines that go back in space go to the center of vision. And now we have a one point perspective cube that takes up a lot of space. But all of this surface, this is all touching the picture plane. And here's where this picture plane sits on the ground. So <clears throat> let's draw a little tiny um, cube and show you how uh, this cone of vision works that I put in here, how the distortion works. We were going to do that last time, I didn't. So let's make, um, let's make it a one unit cube. And we're gonna make it two units to the right of where the person's looking. And here's the lines going like back in space and behind this picture plane. And if I bring this out here, now it's going in front of the picture plane. And this can go, you know, just forever. Let's just make it a random spot. I just want to get it far away from this, um, this cone of vision here. So I'm going to just put a horizontal line. Um, let's put a horizontal line right here. Well, so this is one unit right here. But um, I don't know how long this is. I just I made that up. 
but I want to make this, this is the back of the square. And then I want to make this, uh, find, figure out where the front of the square is. So since these, both of these guys, they draw 45 degree angle lines, I could use either one. Well, let's use both. This one's kind of a little farther away. If I do this, oh my goodness, this is really stretched out more than I thought. At least it's still on my paper. There. So that, and let's do the other side because you can do either one works. If I do this, this one I was a little off on this corner. Let's fix that. It's about there. See this line up with each other? If you were careful about where you take that line from, I was a little bit in front of that, so they were not lined up with each other. So it's a nice way to um, check out your work. If you you know do you do one side, and then you do the other side, and if you're getting a little different answers, then you can come back and and check your lines and see what went wrong. And for me, this one was like I started the corner about like right there instead of right there. So this one got to be a little bit too long. So anyway, that is a square. Looks more like a rectangle. That's what happens when you draw too far outside the cone of vision, that things start getting stretched out and distorted. So, I mean, this one goes outside the cone of vision a little bit, but it's, that, that doesn't look distorted. So this is, like I said before, a really fuzzy line here. So you can draw, if I want to draw a uh, one inch like Quebec, let's make this one, let's put one right in line with this and we'll make it two units behind the picture plane. So I come over here and make this two and go to the measuring point. See that is two. If I did this, this would be a little two by two square. Don't really need that two by two square. All I want is to bring this back to here. I'm going to make another one unit cube right here. Then go to this measuring point. And there is one. I could use the other side if I want. It's a little bit redundant unless you're not exactly sure of your work and you could check it out. These need to be straight across from each other. So this is the same size as this one. But this one's not distorted looking. Looks like a square. This looks like a rectangle. If I want to make this into a cube, there's a few ways to do this. There's always a few ways to do everything in perspective. So here's, here's one method. So I need to make the height as same as the width. So I can come over here to the picture plane. I know it's one unit, so I could come up one unit like this and bring that back into to the center of vision. And then this would be one unit. So there's that method. You're just taking one unit from the picture plane and you're scooting it back to where the box is. That works. But also because this is a cube, I could just take a ruler and measure this and make this the same. I could take a compass from here and then swing this up and I get the same answer. Or I could take a 45 degree angle line, a true 45 degree angle line, not like a perspective one, but here, because these, the 45 degrees transfers the horizontal distance to the vertical distance. Here's, there's one, two, three, three different ways, four different ways to do it. So, um, yeah, lots, there's not ever just one way to get the right answer in perspective. There's a whole bunch of ways to get the wrong answer, but there's a lot of, there's usually like a, a at least a few different ways to get the correct answer in whatever you're doing, diff which different methods. So um, then it's from here, it's just connecting dots. And 
And so we now we have a, uh, a one unit cube that's two units behind the picture plane and it's two units to the right of where the person is looking. This one is one unit to the right left of where the person is looking and it's a three unit cube. And then this is just a distorted um, one unit rectangle uh, square on the ground. Looks like a rectangle. Okay, we'll, we'll practice some more with these with different shapes because probably want to do more than just cubes. So that's not a big jump to do from here and practicing with this, drawing different, the different shapes, different places in space, squares, cubes, different places in space, then, um, then you, you'll quickly realize how versatile this is and it could draw a lot of different types of shapes and not just cubes and squares. So next, next time.